Konnichiwa YouTube! Welcome back to Arcage Live with your host Only One Shinobi and the first episode of the Catch 'em All series. As you can see, we are reporting live from Arkham Iris, where behind me stands the honorable and esteemed Windlord. All hail thee. Um, actually, this is a mini boss. Uh, spawns naturally in the wild. Uh, spawns in two places, I believe Arkham Iris and I believe. Uh, Dewstone Plains over on the west. Um, I'm not sure where that spawn point is, uh, but you can catch these little guys uh, and use them as battle pets. And I believe that in a future episode, uh, future update, sorry, uh, in a future update, you can actually ride some of them as uh, mounts. So uh, there is a patch in the works. Uh, that's going to allow you to level up your little mini pets up to level 55 and so in preparation of that my guild has started to collect these guys um, this one the wind lord is only level 30 and to catch him you need a net uh, so let's quickly talk about nets uh, we won't go into this too much uh, but under leather goods you'll see mythic and legendary taming nets uh, also queen bee nets which I think we talked about in a previous episode we were making honey um, but here you'll have legendary and mythic uh, so for this guy, you need a legendary net, um, and this is for the Windlord and Farcrag the Wanderer. That's where we're going to start our series. Um, but you need 15 fine leather and some gems, so it's a little bit expensive. Um, I believe that the legendary net on my server uh, total material cost is around 100 gold, and the mythic taming net is a little bit more expensive only because the topaz are rare um, and they're pricey, sometimes as much as 11 gold each. Uh, so you'll need some legendary taming nets for the Wind Lord. Um, you want to craft these in advance, and I recommend crafting around five uh, to start with because the first net may fail. Uh, we're not going to attack him right now. Um, I did do this a little bit earlier, and we actually caught him. Uh, so I'm going to share that footage with you. Um, before you get started, uh, you should know what he does. So if you're level 55, you should really have no problem fighting this guy. Uh, but you might want to bring along a healer and a DPS with you uh, if you're a tank like me. Um, so one tank, one healer, one DPS, and you should be fine. Uh, you probably don't even need a healer as uh, the damage output from a level 30 on a level 55 is not going to be very high. Uh, but just in case, you want to bring along a healer. Uh, now his attacks. Um, I don't know exactly what he does, but before we start, I'll go over some things that we noticed. Uh, first and foremost is that when he uh, starts attacking, he'll spawn a circle on the ground um, and this reduces his damage quite considerably. So have your tank move him out of the circle and you'll do quite a bit of damage um, a lot faster. So that's your first step. Uh, the other things that he does are actually just kind of fun. Um, you might DPS him down faster than he can attack you, uh, but he will spawn little adds. I, th I would say don't worry about them. They're not really going to do much damage. Um, and the second thing, or third thing that he'll do is he'll spawn little tornadoes and push you up into the air. Again, if you're level 55, you're not going to take much damage, so don't worry too much, but it is kind of a fun little mechanic. So with all of that said, um, I'm going to share the footage of you about the capture, um, and then I'll leave you there at the end. So enjoy, and start catching those bosses. Shinobi out!
And we're back. I actually tricked you. Uh, so I just wanted to mention that uh, hopefully you enjoyed that footage, by the way. Hopefully uh, you enjoyed the footage and you can get out there and catch them yourself. Um, I just wanted to mention before I let you go that uh, these guys do sell quite well. Um, the other day I made five nets to catch him. Uh, we caught him on the second net, so we had some left over, and he sold for about 700 or 750 on the auction house. So uh, you can make quite a little bit of a profit if you're lucky with the nets. Um, if you're unlucky, then I'm sorry, RN Jesus has forsaken you. Uh, but people do buy these. Um, they're, you know, mostly cosmetic. Um, they do do some attacks, and later they will be a l buffed up a little bit. Uh, with all that said, the Windlord does look pretty cool, so if you're going to collect them all, if you're going to catch them all, then uh, continue watching this series and I'll bring you the other world bosses. Until next time, Shinobi out.